Welcome to Learnpedia, the ultimate JE and NEET prep tool currently being used by more than 20,000 aspirants. Now, take a look at this actual NEET question and see if you can answer it. If you think you got the answer, post it in the comment section below. To understand the concept behind this question, go ahead and watch this video further. Let us study about Wheatstone Bridge and condition of balance. This is an arrangement of four resistances out of which one is P, Q, R, S and a galvanometer is connected to the unknown resistances. So this arrangement of resistances we call as Wheatstone Bridge Network. The Wheatstone Bridge is shown in the figure. It has four resistances P, Q, R and S. G is galvanometer. Point A and C are connected across the source of EMF V and point B and D are connected with the galvanometer with the resistance G as shown in this figure. Now current I starts flowing in the network and the current will subdivide. Current I from the cell divides I1 and I2, I1 and I2 at junction A and I3 and IG, G is the current through galvanometer at junction B. This IG combines with I2 to give current I4. At junction D, I2 and IG current combine to give I4. At junction C, I3 and I4 combine to give back the current I. So we have taken this current as I1, this current as I2, this current as I3, this IG comes here, this current is I4 and I4 and I3 combines to give back the current I. Now, using junction rule, at junction A, we can write I is equal to I1 plus I2. At junction B, I1 is equal to I3 plus IG. At junction D, IG plus I2 to give the current called I4. At junction C, I3 plus I4 gives the current I. Now we can use loop rule. Loop 1 we can take it as A, B, D back to A. A, B, D back to A. So what we are going to get? Minus I1 P minus I G G plus I2 into R is equal to 0. Similarly, we can apply second loop rule to the bigger junction A, B, C, D back to A. We can start minus I1 P minus I3 Q plus I4 S plus I2 R is equal to 0. Now, the resistance P, Q, R, S are variable. So, by adjusting the resistance P, Q, R, S, we can make the potential of point B and potential of point D to be same. The Wheatstone bridge is said to be balanced when no current is flowing through the galvanometer. The Wheatstone bridge is said to be balanced when no current flows in galvanometer. So, potential of B is equal to potential of D. Since IG is equal to 0, no current flows through galvanometer means the current through the galvanometer is 0. In this arm, the current is 0. That means potential of point B and potential of point D is equal. When potential of point B and potential of point D is 0, current in the galvanometer is equal to 0, IG is equal to 0. Substituting IG 0 in this junction rule formulas, we get I is equal to I1 plus I2. Here we are going to get I1 is equal to I3 because IG is 0. And this equation we get it, I2 is equal to I4. What does it mean? I1 is equal to I3, I2 is equal to I4. Since IG is equal to 0, that means the same current flows through arm A, B and B, C. And same current flows through arm AD and DC. Substituting IG is equal to 0 and I1 is equal to I3 and I2 is equal to I4 in these two equations. Here IG0 gives you minus I1P plus I2R is equal to 0. Here minus I1P minus I3. I3 I can replace by I1. I1Q plus I4S plus I4 into R or I4 I can replace by I2. I2 into S plus I2 into R is equal to 0. So let us rewrite these two equations substituting these values. So minus I1P 
plus I2 into R is equal to 0. This is one equation substituting Ig is equal to 0. And second equation minus I1P minus I1Q plus you can write I2 into S plus I2 into R is equal to 0. Replacing I3 as I1 and I4 as I. So we can rewrite this equation as the first equation as I1P is equal to I2R. And this equation as I1 into P plus Q is equal to I2 into S plus R. Now dividing this equation by this equation, we get it P by Q by P is equal to S plus R by R. Or 1 plus Q by P is equal to S by R plus 1. Or finally P by Q is equal to R by S. If the ratio of resistance P and Q is equal to ratio of resistance R and S, then the bridge is said to be balanced. This is the condition of balance. And current through the galvanometer is 0. Current through galvanometer is 0 and P by Q is equal to R by S. That means when resistance P by Q is equal to ratio of resistance R by S, then the current through galvanometer becomes equal to 0 and potential of point D and B will be equal. Then it is called a balanced Wheatstone bridge condition. Now when Wheatstone bridge condition is uh, satisfied, then remember P and Q resistance will come in series, R and S resistance will come into series. Or if we can join this point B and D because they are at the same potential, P and R are said to be in parallel, Q and S are said to be in parallel. So by adding both, we can calculate the equivalent resistance. So if a network is given, we try to see whether it is satisfying Wheatstone bridge condition or not, such that P by Q is equal to R by S. And if the Wheatstone bridge condition is satisfied, then immediately we can take P and R in parallel, Q and S in parallel and add them in series. So Wheatstone bridge condition, potential of point B is equal to potential of point D. Current through the galvanometer is 0 and P by Q is equal to R by S. Hey there, hope you understood the concept. Here's the solution to the question asked at the beginning. Found this video useful? Hit the like and share icons to enjoy more such videos. Learn PDS, JE and NEET prep tools contain more than 4000 questions and over 20,000 solved examples. These can be accessed online through our website or offline through an SD card or a pen drive. To buy now, visit www.learnpedia.in. You can also try a free demo of our product before buying.